good morning friends in today's presentation we will see information about chickpea cultivation we know very well uh, chickpea is known as harbara gram or uh, bengal gram these three are the common names of this chickpea it is important rabi pulse crop chickpea used for human consumption and feed to cattle whole or uh, split grain is uh, generally used for consumption which is uh, used as a fried boiled or cooked and eaten by the peoples grains are also used as a vegetable flour of chickpea is uh, used for the preparation of many sweet dishes chickpea generally used as a dal sweet and snacks in different forms the husk and split grain are used as a feed to animal fresh green leaves are utilized as a green leaf vegetable horns are used as a excellent green fodder to cattle leaves of chickpea uh, consist of malic and citric acid which are used for medicinal purpose uh actually this uh, malic and citric acid are used for stomach ailments and is a best as a blood purifier chickpea grain contains 20.8% protein 5.6% fat 59.8% carbohydrate and 2.7% minerals in a dal while 70.1% protein 5.3% fat and 60.9% carbohydrates and 3% minerals in whole grain fairly a good source of thiamine nicotinic acid and calcium iron vitamin c and vitamin b1 chickpea sisar Arianthinum is a botanical name comes under family leguminosae and uh, it is origin originated from south eastern turkey as far as geographical distribution is concerned uh, this gram crop is a important pulse crop in the indian subcontinent india ranks first in area and production in the world followed by pakistan australia and iran israel stands first in productivity that is uh, 6120 kg per hectare followed by yemen canada and egypt uh, productivity of india as compared to other countries is very low and which was 920 kg per hectare in india chickpea contributed 37% of the area and 47% of pulse production overall trend of this area production and productivity of uh, last 3 year last three plant periods was shown significantly increase in india yamp ranks first and which contribute uh, 32.34.32% point, and 39.47% of the total area and production of the country followed by rajasthan and maharashtra the highest productivity recorded by andhra pradesh that is 1239 kg per hectare followed by west bengal and bihar classification 
Now this uh, Indian grams have been classified into two broad groups. First one Deshi or brown gram that is Caesar Arientinum and second one Kabuli or white gram Caesar Kabulium. In these uh, two names itself uh, distinguish uh, or differences uh, difference uh, is uh, shown. Name itself indicate the uh, classification deshi or brown gram is a brown in color or kabuli or white gram uh, have a white color in deshi brown gram seed uh, ranges color yellow to dark brown and seeds are uh, usually small as compared to white gram plants are small and good branching ability uh, having chromosome number 2n is equal to 16. In case of uh, Kabuli or white gram, usually color of the seed is white, grains are bold and attractive and yield potential of this uh, group is poor as compared to this year brown gram. But uh, plants are generally taller than this gram and having same chromosome number 2n is equal to 16 botany leaves roots flowers and pots leaves are pinnate or old pinnate or pinnate rigid alternate and compound with deeply notched stipules leaves have a terminal leaflet root the plant produces a strong tap root with well developed lateral root system in upper layers of the soil flowers flowers are single white or pink in color and typical papillinoceous type and get self fertilized before they open a very small percentage of cross pollination may be occur for single plant produce 45 to 150 pods seeds are spherical in shape wrinkled and with pointed beak varying in color from white to brown red to black now we will see climate soil and land preparation climate chickpea is a winter season crop but severe cold or frost are injurious to this crop frost at the time of flowering results in failure of the flowers to develop seeds Generally, this crop is grown under rain-fed conditions but gives good response to irrigated condition also. Excessive rains after sowing or at flowering and fruiting or hailstorms at ripening causes heavy loss. This crop is best suited to area having moderate rainfall of uh, 650 to 1000 mm per annum. Optimum temperature for this crop varies from 18 to 22 degrees centigrade. However, it can be grown in the temperature range of 20 to 30 degrees centigrade. Soil Chickpea is grown on a wide range of soils in India that is sandy loam to clay loam. In the north, gram is generally grown on moderately heavy soils. In Maharashtra and on the Deccan Plateau, black cotton soils uh, are used to cultivate this crop. Light soils, mostly sandy loams are preferred in Punjab, UP, and Haryana and uh, Rajasthan. Best type of soil for chickpea is one that is well drained and not too heavy. The soil chosen for this cultivation of this crop should be free from excessive soluble salts and near to neutral in reaction. However, uh, soils are not suited having pH more than 8.5. Land preparation, this uh, crop requires loose and well aerated uh, seed bed. This crop uh, prefers rough seed bed uh, for good aeration in the root zone. 
when deploying followed by two harrowings are uh, sufficient for land preparation <coughs> seed and sowing seeds should be treated with carbendism therum or captain at the rate of 2 to 3 gram per kg to control seed borne diseases sowing time mid october to mid november sowing method sowing in furrows behind the country plow or drilling or dibbling sowing depth 7 to 8 cm spacing row spacing 30 cm for deshi and 40 to 45 cm for kabuli chana seed rate 75 to 100 kg per hectare Nutrient management, uh, apply 10 to 15 ton FYM per hectare before last harrowing which will facilitate the thorough mixing of FYM in the soil and recommended dose of fertilizer for uh, chickpea is 2550 NP kg per hectare. Whole uh, dose applied as a basal dose at the time of sowing. Application of sulphur at the rate of 20 to 40 kg per hectare uh, as a gypsum, pyrite or single superphosphate is effective especially in light structured soils. Weed management, critical period of crop weed competition is up to 25 to 30 days after sowing. One hoeing and one hand weeding is sufficient to check the weeds. We can apply herbicides also as a pre-emergence spray of fluclerin at the rate of 1 kg or pendimethalin at the rate of 1 kg or metalachlor at the rate of 1 kg or isoproturan at the rate of 1 kg per hectare are most uh, effective. As far as irrigation management is concerned, uh, mostly this crop grown as a rain-fed crop. If irrigation facilities are available, one pre-sowing irrigation should be given, uh, which ensure proper germination and a smooth uh, crop growth. Four to six leaf stage, branching and pod formation stages are the critical growth stages of this uh, chickpea. At uh, these critical growth stages, we can irrigate the crop. Light irrigation should be given. Care should be taken that because heavy irrigation is always harmful to this uh, chickpea crop, uh, which uh, enhances the vegetative growth and reduce the yield ultimately varieties uh, desi varieties are aurodi this aurodi variety is uh, also resistant to wilt that panth g 186 pusa 256 gaurav pusa and then uh, mpkv rahuri uh, phule g5 develop phule g5 uh, Vijay, Vishal, so many varieties are there and for Kabuli varieties C104, EL5550, EL1444, PUSA1003, PUSA1053, Sadabhar, ICCC4, these are the varieties of Bengal Gram. Now in this Bengal gram, nipping is a most important operation and which facilitates uh, branching and ultimately if number of branches are more then number of fruits or pods will be more and ultimately we will get more yield. Actually in this uh, nipping practice, uh, plucking the apical buds of the crop at about 30 to 40 days after sowing is done to stop the apical growth and which will help to promote the latter branching. Plant become more vigorous and produces more branches, more flowers and more pots and that's why 
ultimately we will get uh, more yield and in this way this snipping help to boost the yield harvesting and threshing leaves turns reddish brown and starts shedding is the signs of maturity then mature plants are either pulled or cut out by hand or cut with a pulled out by hand or cut with sickle and dried under the sun for 5 to 6 days then dried plants are threshed using sticks or trampled under the feet of the bullocks and separate the grains and at last we will get 15 to 20 quintal per hectare yield from desi while 25 to 30 quintal per hectare from kabuli chana waste management gram pot borer is one of the major pests and to control this uh, gram pot borer dusting the crop with malathion 5% dust and spray HAN PV 1 liter per hectare not H HAN PV Helico Arpa Armigera as far as uh, disease management is uh, concerned wilt is the most important disease in gram to control this wilt or uh, seed treatment should be done with thyram, bavistin or captain before sowing at the rate of 2 to 3 gram per hectare per kg of the seed. Crop rotation and rowing out the infected plants from the field is one of the preventive measures to check this uh, disease. In this way, uh, in this way we cover this uh, chickpea or uh, bengal gram crop references are given here in this uh, slide thank you one and all friends for watching and listening this uh, presentation kindly i request you to watch share like and subscribe this channel page thanks thanks once again